Hey, it's Rina, and today I'll be showing you the best tips, tricks, and hidden features for using the GoodNotes Elements tool. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on digital planning, tips, and plan with me, so subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of this content. First, make sure your GoodNotes app is updated to the latest version, and you'll also want to be updated to the latest iOS. This tip is about batch importing stickers into the Elements tool. So to add a sticker into Elements, you can use the lasso tool, lasso it, tap inside, and then tap on Add Element. But this is the slow way to add stickers if you're going to do them one by one. If you have many stickers, there is a way that you can add multiple in one go. So to do that, you can tap on the Elements icon and then tap it again so that you get this panel. And then just scroll to the end until you get this plus icon. So tap on it. And then what I'm going to do now is open up a split screen. So at the top of the iPad, you've got the three dots here. And then tap on this icon and then browse to your files app. So you want to browse to where your stickers are saved. So this is where all of my stickers are saved in this folder here. So then I'm just going to select them all and drag them in. So tap on select, select all. And then you can either use your finger or use the Apple Pencil and then just long press and drag them all in like this. And then just tap on Create. And depending on how many stickers you're importing, this might take a couple of minutes. And here is all of your stickers in the Elements tool. And then you can just tap on one to add it to the page. Now, if your files view doesn't look like this, you might be in Icons view. So in Icons view, it's the same. You can just select everything and then select all. But with this, make sure that you're long pressing on a sticker, because if you long press on the white spaces, nothing is going to happen. So just make sure that you're long pressing on any sticker and then you can drag them all in. And once again, tap on create. And once you're done, you can just close the files view by closing the panel. You can also bulk import from your photos. So once you're in the screen, tap on the three dots at the top, but choose photos this time. This feature is really useful if you want to share your stickers with others, because previously I was having to make these GoodNotes sticker books where I drag and drop each sticker individually onto the page, and then I had to resize and position them. So by bulk adding them into the Elements tool, that is just much faster and saves so much time. And no matter which file you're working on, you can just tap on the Elements tool and be able to access all of your stickers. This next tip is about exporting an Elements collection to share with others or importing a pre-made collection that you've purchased. So you can tap on the Elements icon, and then let's say this is the collection that I want to share. So I'm just going to long press on this icon at the bottom and then tap on share. And then I'm going to tap on save to files. And you can choose to save this to your cloud storage, but I'm just going to save this on my iPad and then just tap on save. And then I'm just going to delete this collection because I don't want a duplicate. So I'm just going to delete it. And now I'm going to show you how to import that collection back in. So tap on the elements tool icon again, and then scroll all the way and then tap on the plus icon. And this time tap on import from and then just browse to where you save that collection. So I saved it on my iPad. So here it is. I'm just going to tap on that. And it's imported all of the stickers as well as the title. And then just remember to tap on create. And once again, this might take a couple of minutes, depending on how many stickers you have in the collection. This next tip is about how to use the elements tool with combinations of stickers. So first, I'm just going to make a combination. This sticker is going to be made of a washi tape plus a sticky note. So I have to reorder this because I put the washi tape down first, so it's on the bottom. So I'm just going to cut and paste this so that it's on the top. And now I'm going to use the lasso tool and then just lasso around it, tap inside it and add the whole thing to my elements. And here it is in my recents. I can just tap on that and then I can move that and resize and rotate that in a group. Now, once you've come off that sticker and you use the lasso tool, you might find that when you lasso a part of it, it doesn't move together. But all you have to do is tap on the elements icon again and then tap anywhere on the sticker. And then this will allow you to move and resize it again as a group. And if you want to edit the arrangement, you can just tap on the image icon and then tap on the individual parts. So let's say I wanted to change the washi tape positioning. And then you can just tap on the elements icon again, and it will still let you move it as a group. This next tip is about seeing more of your elements collection. So if you're browsing your elements collection and you want to see more of your stickers in one go, you can just tap on this icon here and that will bring up this in a side panel. And to make this even larger, you can long press on this middle part here and drag it into full screen. Now I have found that this full screen loads a little bit slower than when you're in the small screen, but if you just give this a moment to load, then you will be able to see all of your stickers. 
And to come out of the screen, you can just tap on the X. And once again, I can tap on the elements icon, tap on the split screen, and I can minimize it instead of making it a full screen. And I can also long press on the three dots at the top, pull it down and pull it to the side and let go. And I will have a panel that looks like this. And this will allow me to move it to the left side. And I can pull this down and to the side to change the view. Now, when you're in split screen view like this, or like this, or even like this, you can't add a sticker by tapping on it. You have to long press the sticker and drag it onto the page. To edit your elements collection, you can tap on the elements icon, browse to your collection, and then you can just long press on this and then tap on edit. And here you can go through and delete the stickers that you don't want, or you can reorder. So let's say that I use this one a lot. I can long press on this and then move this to the top. And I can also add to this collection by tapping on add photos and then select the stickers that I want to add. And tap on done once you're finished editing. This next tip is about quick access of your elements collections. So as long as you have the icon activated, you can actually tap anywhere on the page to bring up your stickers collections. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tips and digital planning videos. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.